everybody, and welcome to the second YouTube video premiere of uh, music I wrote last year during various stages of quarantine. You'll hear from a couple of the other artists later. I just wanted to give a quick little welcome. Uh, most of the pieces on this program are dance films that are part of a project that I uh, started early in, the, in quarantine called Psaes, where I was basically just writing solo piano music for different uh, many different choreographers. It's turned into a project with 24 pieces and all sorts of different uh, styles and formats. Some of the pieces had live premieres, uh, others had virtual premieres of different sorts. Uh, these were pieces where the choreographers wanted to make dance films. So, uh, so that's what we did and this became a forum to premiere three of them. The original idea was really a way to connect during quarantine, especially at the very beginning when we were really all super isolated from each other. Um, and dancers especially, you know, among artists were having a difficult time because you just couldn't be in a studio with other people. Um, so I started the project as a way to connect and it sort of turned into, in addition to that, a way to explore and experiment and just sort of see what, you know, what we come up with. Uh, so that's, it's been a very rewarding project in that and it's let me form a lot of new collaborations and relationships with artists that uh, I hadn't worked with in this way before. Uh, and then Apostrophe, which is a short solo clarinet piece, has its own kind of special story behind that and so you'll hear a little bit more about that later. Uh, donations are certainly appreciated and there's uh, a link below uh, on how to do that. Uh, they'll be split among all the, all the performers in the program. So thanks again for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the program.
Hello, my name is Alexandria Rakowski. I approached Jonathan Howard Katz in March of 2020 when the pandemic began about getting a piece written for solo clarinet. Um, I had always admired Jonathan's work. I thought he did a great job, always has, of incorporating such delicacy and beauty and intimacy in all of his works. Um, and he did the exact same for my piece. I came to him with a really sensitive and personal topic and said, you know, I want a piece written about this. Can you do it for me? Um, we had a great time collaborating, going back and forth, um, little details about how does this measure work? Or does this come across this way to you? And I pretty much gave him free reign and he created exactly what I needed. Um, because a, of health problems, I contracted COVID back in April of 2020 and had a lot of uh, complications afterwards. And I recently got surgery for thoracic outlet syndrome. I've not been able to play clarinet as I used to, um, or very effectively at all. It's been a tough road coming back, but I'm getting back to it. But because of this, uh, Gregory Oaks will be doing the premiere and I could not be more excited or grateful. Gregory is a wonderful musician and a wonderful person. And I couldn't ask for anybody else to do this. Um, I think he was a perfect fit. Um, as far as my schooling goes, I am a musicology student at Carthage College. I specialize in work um, by Sergei Prokofiev and from the Soviet Union, and I study under Dr. Dmitry Shapovalov. I am a clarinetist, a mezzo, and a conductor. And um, as far as everything goes, I hope everyone enjoys the premiere. Jonathan and Gregory are absolutely amazing, and I could not say thank you enough to either of them. And I can't wait to play this piece myself.
Hello, I am Devana Bat, and I am the dancer, director, and choreographer behind the film Inside Outside. So back in April of 2020, Jonathan Katz and I had a little conversation about collaborating on a dance film. He generously offered to compose some music, brand new for this piece, and I offered to create a film and dance and edit this uh, new piece with this new idea. Now, we were originally inspired directly by lockdown. We talked about feelings of anxiety, of nervousness, of being overwhelmed but not being able to do anything about it, a lot of processing. We talked about using direct props around us. I think we're all very familiar, dancing in our living rooms, the kitchens, the windows, whatever you can find as a prop, right? But because that year ended up taking more energy to emotionally process, at least for me, everything that was happening in terms of COVID, in terms of 2020, in terms of the election, all things took a lot of emotional capacity. I ended up putting this film a little bit on the back burner for myself. And then uh, once Jonathan sent me the music that he had composed in January, I believe he sent me, I started rethinking it again and decided to be, instead of inspired directly by lockdown, to take it back a little step and to explore the feeling of being trapped within our own bodies, even when we are free to move. So there's a sharp contrast there. The world can be big, bright, and beautiful all around us, even if we're not feeling that directly inside of ourselves. So I'm thinking that sometimes you have to allow your mind to imagine what you really want for yourself and then decide whether or not you will allow yourself to have it. Um, I, I think personally the line between having it and not is so much closer and thinner than we often make it out to be. So uh, this film is an exploration of the two dichotomies, the inside here and the outside and how maybe we can start to blur the lines and create that reality inside that we see outside. So this is the first dance film I've ever directed, danced and edited myself. So thank you, Jonathan, for trusting me with your music. And uh, thanks to everyone for watching. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.
Wavy rock, man.